Hey, I'm Mike Madewell from the Technical Support Department. In this video, you'll learn how to install and program a SolarSync sensor on the Pro-C controller. SolarSync is a weather-based sensor that works in conjunction with Hunter controllers to adjust the seasonal adjustment percentage value. This results in shorter or longer run times. SolarSync accomplishes this by measuring the solar radiation and temperature at the site and sending these values over to the controller to modify the station's run times for the day. The SolarSync sensor also features a rain and freeze sensor that inhibits irrigation in rainy or freezy conditions. Throughout this video, we will go over the proper installation process of the SolarSync sensor, the programming steps for the SolarSync function, as well as the proper way to make adjustments in the future. When using a solar sink in conjunction with Pro-C models that have solar sink built into the controller, you don't have to purchase the entire kit. All you need is the sensor. The wireless version comes with two pieces. The actual sensor, which is the one that's going to be mounted outside, and a sensor receiver, which will be connected to the controller. Both units come addressed from the factory for instant communication. However, it is a good idea to initialize communication manually upon connection of the sensor receiver to verify proper signal transmission. Before attempting to connect anything to the controller, be sure to verify that the power is turned off. Connect the green and the black wires coming from the sensor or from the sensor receiver in the case of a wireless sensor to the two sensor terminals marked SIN on the controller making sure to remove the metal jumper. The order of the wires does not matter. If you're using the hardwired version, you can go ahead and mount it in its location. But if you'll be using the wireless version, it'll be a good idea to verify communication between the sensor and the receiver prior to mounting. With the receiver connected to the controller, turn the power on to the controller. You will notice that the LED on the sensor receiver will turn on, indicating that it is in search mode. Press the spindle on the sensor and hold it down until the receiver blinks four times. This will indicate that both units are communicating. Once you've verified proper communication, you can go ahead and mount the sensor. When installing the sensor, the location you choose is crucial for the proper performance of the solar sink. The sensor needs to be placed in an area where it can receive the full sun and rainfall. It is also important that the sensor is placed in an area that ensures that the sensor will not get wet with the spray of the sprinklers. Once the sensor is properly installed and connected, we can test it by communicating from the sensor down to the receiver. That way we don't have to pour water all over the sensor. To test the sensor, turn on a program by pressing and holding the right arrow button. When the stations are running, press and hold the black spindle button located on the square portion of the sensor. While the spindle button is being depressed, the system should shut down irrigation. So after ensuring the proper operation of the sensor with the receiver, it's time to program the station run times as well as the solar sync features in the Pro C. Remember, it's important that you use the maximum station run time for the hottest time of the year, and you also have your season adjust set to 100% initially. When you turn the dial to the solar sync position, the solar sync functions will be enabled. You will notice two numbers on the screen. The first one represents the region and the second one represents the water adjustment. To choose the region, you need to consult the table found in the owner's manual of the solar sync to decide which region best represents your area. So there's three ways of choosing the region. The first and most reliable method is according to the average ET or evapotranspiration rate for the hottest month of the year in your area. You can usually find this information on the internet. Another method is according to the average temperature for the hottest time of the year. And the third method is according to a general description of the area that you live in. Choose the region using the plus or minus button. The next number you see is the water adjustment value. This number is a 1 through 10 adjustment that allows you to fine tune your system in case it needs more percentage points or less percentage points. The numbers go from 1 through 10. You can leave this number set at 5 to begin with. Upon installation and setup of the solar sync sensor, you might want to program in a solar sync delay. 
This can be super helpful, for example, if you have brand new plants that you don't want to be affected by the solar sink initially. As well, it gives the solar sink a chance to settle into its location and start accumulating data. To program a solar sink delay, start with the dial in the run position. Press and hold the plus button and turn the dial to solar sink position. Release the plus, and here you can program from 1 to 99 days. We'll program in a 3 day solar sink delay. So once your solar sink delay elapses, the solar sink will start adjusting the controller automatically at midnight. You'll have to monitor your landscape to ensure you're putting water down in just the right amounts in the right areas. There's a few adjustments you may have to make. For example, if the whole place is too wet or too dry, you can use the water adjust feature 1 through 10 within the solar sink settings. If that doesn't fix your situation, you may have to change the region entirely, either up or down one position to get more or less water or more or less percentage. The other situation is you may have only a single station or two that's either too wet or too dry, and you can adjust their run times individually within the controller, and they'll scale up and down equally with everybody else from there. So as you can see, incorporating a solar sink sensor to your ProSea does not take a lot of effort, but provides substantial results. For more information, like owner's manuals and videos, consult our website, hunterindustries.com. And thanks for watching.